tell me something. How long has it been since you've seen me do a monthly favorites video? It's been a long time, hasn't it? Well, today I am, and I'm doing a November favorites because I realized that I have been using almost the very same makeup, uh, color cosmetics, every single day this month, maybe even longer. I've had a few items that I've switched from time to time, but I seem to go back to these very same items, or at least I have been. And I thought I would just tell you what they are and see maybe if there are things like that that you use every day. Do you just have a group of products that you know will do what you want them to do that you can rely on and you just go with it? So let me know that. I'm, so I'm going to show you those products, what they are, and then also I'm going to show you a couple of gift ideas, things that uh, I have purchased for gifts, and they might be something that would work for you. And then I have a shout out, a very, very special shout out that uh, with a message that touched my heart. And I think it'll touch yours too because, well, just just wait. I want to I want to I want to do that right. All right, let's go. Let me show you the products that I have been using. Before I show you the first thing, I will tell you too that I was gone for a week. We just got back day before yesterday for the Thanksgiving holidays, and I took this product with me. And this is all I took. So I used it every single day while I was there too. So let's just get started. This has turned out to be one of my favorite foundations of all time. I have several favorites, but this is truly a favorite. And I, one of the reasons I love this so much is because it dries down really fast on my skin. I can make it a, a real light coverage or I can add to it to get a little bit more full coverage. And it's the Bare Minerals Original Pure Serum Foundation. If you'll remember, I worked with Bare Minerals back in the summer and I reviewed this. And as it turned out, I absolutely love it. It was brand new when I reviewed it, when I worked with them. So I hadn't had a chance to try anything like this before from Bare Minerals, but I love this. I absolutely love it. And I am been wearing the shade Medium Warm 3. And, and by the way, I will link everything both below this video in the show more, and I will also default it to the very first comment under this video. So when you get ready to go make a comment, if you look at the very first comment, you'll see where I've linked all of this. The second thing is by Bare Minerals also, and it's the concealer. It's the Original Liquid Mineral Concealer. And like most of these, it's just your little doe foot. And I am in, I'm in shade Very Fair. For my eyes, <laughs> y'all have seen me use this so much, and I, I'm telling you, I'm going to have to replace, replace this, but I need to go and look in my stash and see what kind of little eyeshadow palettes I have that I can use before I buy another one. This is, I mean, I've used this every day. It's the Milani Gilded Mini. Whoops, there's a glare. And you can see, look at this. This one and this one, I've hit pan big time, big time on this one. This is the shade I use over my whole eye from brow all the way down to my lashes. And wear this, only this, a lot of days. I did, had a chunk break out there, but you can definitely see which colors I like and which colors I don't use at all. And this is why I never buy those big palettes with 140 eyeshadow pans in them because I'm only going to use a couple of shadows out of any little palette. So I always like the small palettes. And I could just go buy from probably Sephora brand or maybe Ulta, just maybe a shade, these two shades, but I sort of like the convenience of having it all in one and it's small 
and this is in the wine down, W-I-N-E down, is the color on this palette. Some things you're not going to be surprised with. I've been using the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eyeliner, and it's a mechanical pencil. Let's see here. Oh, I still have quite a bit. I use this for my tight line under my upper lashes, and then I'm using, I've been using the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I have been using the e.l.f. I've been using the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. On my lower lashes, I've been using the Nicole Beauty, and I've sharpened this. So let me see. It's her Ultimate Stay Eyeliner, I think. I have sharpened that off, but it's in the color of Plum. I love this color. That's it on the eyes. For the rest of my face, I've been, I, I've, I received this a while back in PR, and I've pulled it out, and I've really been using this. It's the Sigma Matte Bronzer in Light, and it's a very light bronzer. Can you see it? Not dark at all. I, it's, I think it's really good for my skin, the color of it. Been loving that, and for blush, I've been using the Laura Geller and this is a little mini, the Mini Baked Blush and Brighten in Pink Buttercream. And <laughs> the last thing is the Milani Make It Last Original Natural Finish Setting Spray. I love this. You know, I, I have the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I'm not sure of the exact name of it. I like this better than Charlotte Tilbury. One of the things I like about it, and this is empty, well, there's a little bit in there, but it has a, the finest mist. I don't get big water drops with this, and sometimes I do with the Charlotte Tilbury, and this is a whole lot, a whole lot cheaper. I do have a backup of this, and I want to show you something else that I took on this trip with me and actually really got some good use out of it for the first time. Uh, back a month or so ago, Angie, Angie Hot and Flashy, introduced a new travel brush set. Uh, it's a collab that she does or did with BK Beauty. And she sent me the set of brushes, and I did show them to you. This is what they look like. They're travel brushes. They're just like her, her original brushes, but they have short handles, which I, I love because as we get older, especially, we get a Many of us need to get up closer to our mirrors, and it's a short brush handle so we can get up even closer to the mirror. This set comes with, I believe, either four or five brushes, but I want to show you because this is what I took with me, and I'm going to, and I'm going to show you actually how I traveled with it. But this is how it comes, and the brushes look like this, but what you can do is you can turn this back, and especially at the lake when we were there, I had, all I had to, as far as where I could put my items, they just like a little pedestal sink in that bathroom that I was using. So it had to sit on the sink. And this was just perfect for that. I turned this back and this was all I needed for my brushes and some other items that I'm going to show you. And by the way, I have put other brushes in here. Let's take these out. All right, so th this is actually how it comes three, four, five brushes. And can you, look at this, can you tell, look how dirty this is. I haven't cleaned these brushes since I've been home, but the inside of this case is, has makeup on them because the brushes have rubbed against the sides of it, but this is easy, easily cleanable. But, um, what I did, and I'll show you, is I added some brushes to this. I added a Sigma brush that I love for my foundations, and all I have to do is just stick it in there. This is a Sigma brush for, for setting powder, but as you can see, I use it for blush. And this is a BK Beauty brush that is just a little, I'm not sure what it's called. It's the... 204, but it has the little bitty short bristles. There's room for that in there. Now, this is a tall brush, a regular size handle. 
and it still fits. I put my mascara, I put my pencil, my eyeliners, I put my eyebrow pencil, and there's still room to put other tools in here or product, and then you just sip it up, and it's still not very thick, and that just slid right down in my bag that I took with me. So, so easy, so easy. Probably could have put that little eyeshadow palette in here. I know that this is pricey, but this would make a great gift. I will link it below. I, I mean, I, I loved work. This, is, this has been my favorite travel brushes and, and little bag for the brushes. I think I like the, the bag and the convenience of it as much as I like the brushes themselves. But if you travel very much or if you're getting older and you just need a shorter handle, this would make a great gift for you. Maybe, maybe your children or your grandchildren can go in together and buy you this for a gift if it's, you know, if it's not in your budget for you to purchase it for yourself. I think I would be tickled pink to get this. And I'm not sure, but I believe Angie has had a sale on these for the holidays, maybe Black Friday for the holiday. And I'm sure today is Cyber Monday, but I'm sure things are going to be on sale for the next few weeks leading into Christmas. So this, this would make a great gift for you. For you, you deserve it. While we're talking about traveling with that little travel makeup brush of Angie's, I want to show you a couple of things that I always take with me when I travel. Always, always, always. I don't care if I'm just going to my daughter's house to help her with the kids or if we're cruising or wherever we're going. There are two things that are always in my bag. And the reason I know they're always going to be in my bag is because that's where I store them so that I never get away from home without them. The first is a satin or silk pillowcase. I love sleeping on these. I sleep on one of these every single night at home. And I also want to have one when I'm traveling. So what I do to travel with is I get a king size, and this one is satin, I think, but I get a king size and I get a bright color so that I'm reminded to take it off of the pillow and take it home with me. And, and by the way, I have found these on Amazon. They'll be linked below. You get two king size ones for, I want to say $7. Yes, $7 for two king size. I believe if you get the regular size, they may be five. But, you know, I wanted the king because you never know what pillow size when you travel. I want, I want it big enough, so I just got the king. So that. The next thing I always, always, always take is the an old hand towel. And you can see, just to help with washing my face and catching any powder, or I can, you know, lay it down. I, I just... I like having a towel that I can, don't have to worry about getting anything on it. So I always have that. Call me crazy, but I do it. Now, a neat gift, a really neat gift. And as a matter of fact, I've already given some of these. Let me show you what it is. And I've got two here, but I'm going to show you the blue one so that you can see. These are called the Buddy Pouch. Let me tell you what they are. It's a pouch that you can put your cell phone down in. There's a little uh, pocket in the, on the back wall of it that you can put your driver's license in or a credit card or anything. This is stretchy, so you can put your phone in there. You can put your car keys. You can put your lipstick, a compact, whatever you want to. The top Velcro's down, but look at this. It's a magnet. And what you do is, I'll insert a picture for you, but you take this part and it go. this fits over your, the waistband of your jeans or your slacks, your pants. So you put this back part down next to your skin and it fits, oh, oh did you hear it? That was the magnet. It fits, this 
comes down over the front of your jeans or pants and that magnet holds it. And, you know, look, can you see that? That's how tight that magnet is. I love this. Y'all know I walk. This is great. This is great for that. Uh, when If you're traveling, you know, you want to be so careful. I know Jim, where, when we tr go out of the country especially, he wears a money belt on the inside of his his shorts or his slacks or his jeans. You could even turn this around backwards and have this on the inside and this on the outside of your pants. I think this is the neatest idea. Now, I saw these on QVC and I ordered, that's where I ordered them, but I found them on Amazon too and I'll tell you about that in a minute. But they came in, you get, they come in two packs on QVC. All right, on QVC, the only thing they have left when I checked this morning were blue and they had a limited number of those. But you, you either got two blue ones two black ones or two pink ones. But blue is all they had left this morning. But at Amazon, they had blues and they had blacks. Now, l let me tell you about the price on both of them. On QVC, if you are able to get the blue ones, that's all they have left, you get two for $34.98. I would say $35, $17 a piece, $17.50, but that's two. On Amazon, they have the blue and the black available, and it's $21.99, $22 uh, for only one. So if you can, if you want these, the best buy, obviously, is QVC. And listen, I gave them, <laughs> I gave everybody theirs this week, this past week while we were there, and they loved them. They loved them. So this would make a great gift, just a great gift for anyone. And I think that's, I think that's it. Let me look. I think that's it. Let's talk about the shout out I want to do. I tell you, I know that, I know that many of you already follow Melissa55 here on YouTube. And you may even follow her over on Instagram. She's very active on Instagram too, but Melissa has been on YouTube probably as long as I have. And she is absolutely beautiful inside and out. She's from East Tennessee, and she's just one of us Southern girls for sure. And I just, I, I love watching her. And back in October, Melissa was diagnosed with breast cancer and she had a double mastectomy and is having reconstruction. If you don't know Melissa, uh, when you go over to her channel, you'll she has a video on that. And, and one thing that even I had noticed about Melissa is after her diagnosis and after her surgery was just how upbeat she's been. And, and she did a video just in the last day or so, and she talked about that. And she talked about how many comments that she got on her video and how people were saying, oh, you've just come through this so easy. You made it look so easy. But really and truly, what nobody saw was really what she was going through behind the scenes. And this video, when I watched it, it was like so many of us have days when we don't feel pretty, when we, we our self-esteem is just sort of as low as it can be. And we just don't feel good about ourselves. And in this video, Melissa talks about how important it is to feel pretty, to do things for ourselves that make us feel pretty. 
And it's such, it's such, she presented such a different take on being pretty and how to lift ourselves up when we're having those down days. I'm going to list that video and I hope if you haven't seen it that you'll go over and watch it. It's not very long. It's just a few minutes, but go over and watch it. I know that I have women in my life who need to hear that. I needed to hear it, but I know women who need to hear it. And I bet you do too. And I think it's, again, I think it's just the way Melissa presented how this has been for her and what's helped her, what's truly helped her get through it. So go, go check her out and tell her, tell her Patty sent you, tell her Rockstar Mom sent you, okay? All right. Um, I'm going to attach the, at the end of this video a playlist of some of my old favorites videos uh, that I'm sure many of you have not seen. You might just want to click on it and spend a, a little time with Patty talking about her favorites on makeup and clothes and just a lot of different stuff. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll be kind. Be kind to yourself so that you can be kind to others. Know that I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye.